So yeah, welcome everybody to the fifth and final memory uh, retrieval. Uh, I'm, I did it already because I thought the last episode had enough of me doing this last time around. So yeah, I'll quickly show you how it's done. Basically, you've got to get that central beam there all the way around, uh, getting through each of the uh, red barriers. It'll that you'll eventually get to that point there that will fuel that, go up there, and that will go up there. Then that's the tricky part that I didn't work out straight away, but you've got to basically get another uh, one of the uh, decoder relays there, beam it over there to another one, that one will beam it over here, and then that one will beam it over here. So yeah, all we have to do now is turn this one around, and then uh, those little guys over there can get through there and get the uh, thingy going. Actually, we'll uh, set up these first, because yeah, there isn't far to go, but don't want them to be massacred either, do I now? Set them up. Let's turn this round. And boom. There we go. Yeah, it took me forever to try and uh, work that out, so uh, yeah, didn't see the point of uh, putting you through it all again after the last episode had all of that anyway. Go on, guys, you've got all the pathway in the world. Sentry has detected active intrusive program. So is that a bit loud? First data block we go. recovered. Good. Just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, I've done Complete it already. Memory retrieved. You can exit the simulation at any time. So yeah, sorry for the last episode cutting off as well. Basically it was just Nick, Valentine, his Dima's brother. Let's just see what this is. I've discovered a curious record inside the pre-war data files of this submarine base. The Marines here were equipped with an advanced model of combat armor. There are several suits already in the base, in various states of deterioration. But there were more shipments of the armor on its way to the base, the day the bombs fell. They could be in prime condition if the sealants have held. I have no use for them, but you never know. Maybe they'll be worth digging up one day. Additional so data power event. armor everywhere, apparently. Armor shipments tracking information. It's good to know. Coordinates downloaded. Exiting okay. simulation in three, two, one. So there's power armor around to find. Several suits apparently. So yeah, I'm not really into puzzles, but yeah, that was pretty decent. I got through the four, first four pretty easily, it's just that final one that was a bit difficult for me. Oh shit! Crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was not prepared for one of them being there. Why the hell did Longfellow not deal with it? I've been in that thing for god knows how long, and, and that thing appears and he doesn't do anything. Ugh, finally. Oh! Didn't expect it to blow up there. Uh, let's take all that. I don't, I'm not really into new armor because, yeah, I like my... Uh, I like my Minutemen armor, to be honest. Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, let's just get rid of our rads first. All the way down. Right, 
let's get out of here before the children of Atom realise what the hell we've done. Because they won't like the fact that I've just done that. I miss the entrance, is it? I swear it was this way. Oh yeah, it loops round. There's only one of them left. There was loads before. Didn't see any of this before. Oh, there's a new tunnel. Let's go down. Might be something interesting down here if it's not part of the main part. Power armor benches, etc. What the hell's this? There's a flamingo down here, apparently. Use your head. Wear a hard hat. Usually useful, yeah? Yeah, but there isn't anything of use down here. Looks like an old maintenance place. Take that though. Right, let's go. This I found some ammo. Right, please don't be annoyed, please don't be annoyed. Please don't even notice that I've been down here. Do not want to start a war. Oh, this seems to be all right. I wonder if he's thinking about joining. Let's get out of here. The veil of Adam will purge the heretics from this land. <gasps> I know that you can hear me. Please. Not interested in anything you've got to say. Get me back to Dima and we can reveal what we know. Which is the fact that there's a submarine with a nuclear warhead on it. And yeah, there's also a lot of power armor around. Which I guess could come in use. Alright, yeah, we don't have to actually go to Dima, we actually have to uncover his secrets uh, that he's hidden across the island. So yeah, we need to recover the wind farm kill switch code, which will kill the uh, uh, fog uh, condensers. Uncover the location of the nuclear launch key for obviously the the, uh, the uh, nuke on the sub. And then uncover Dima's secret medical facility. So uh, yeah, we've got three uh, 
objectives there, uh, so we'll uh, go to the one that we can fast travel to first, which should be somewhere down here. Let me zoom in. The Harbour Grand Hotel, which we can't go to, so we'll. Uh, We'll uh, go to Acadia and then we'll uh, travel all the way down, which will take a while. So uh, I'll see you when we get close to uh, the Harbour Grand Hotel. Ah, he's got a sword. He had a double barrel shotgun. I've not seen someone have one of them for a while. I've always watched a Slumdoze version of my 44, but I prefer the way it looks like uh, the one I have at the moment, with a longer barrel, makes it more accurate. So yeah, we're nearly to the hotel now, it's just up this road, so let's just save, so we don't have to do all that again. There it is, in the distance. Right, let's just uh, take a quick peek. Cal isn't all that powerful. Oh, good shot. Yeah, the range on this pistol is pretty good. Oh, hello.
some reason I'm more accurate with this than I am with some of my uh, longer range weapons. Maybe it's because I've got so much goddamn time in this gun. Isn't this gun? The skin of my teeth got through that. Just down, down. I've got an eye for grenades. Oh well. Seems to really matter there. Yeah. Alright, let's go inside, let's get my shotgun out ready. Harbour Grand Hotel. They've been busy in here, haven't they? Let's try this again. Let's get, I don't care if I have to use it more often than not. It helps. I, don't, I have no idea what killed me last time. Why I use this gun? Because it's fucking awesome. <laughs> Super mutants don't live very cleanly, do they? So this place has been untouched since the bombs dropped. You're using an additional free has been charging. Keep track of your stay. Hey! Hands where I can see them. Now, where is the key? Franny, put the gun down. What exactly do you think you're going to accomplish? My job. You're going to give me that key, and I'm going to get paid. Paid? The world's over! Are you really- ah! 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 Scream all you want, Arnie. Everyone's been evacuated. It's just you and me. Now focus. Where is the key? Rot in hell! Ah! We can do this all day, Arnie. Fine. The hell's it matter? It's on the boat. Fringe code docks. Combinations 44, 6, 75, 12. Now, was that so hard? So long, Captain. Now, where the hell's the release to this door? Sorry, Franny. You're stuck with me. 
Wow. Bit of betrayal there, wasn't there? Yeah, now we know where it is. So, uh, yeah. Let's have a quick search around here. that. So yeah, he killed himself. And there she is, dead. Uh, oh, pre-war money! Um, plenty of purified water as well. I oh, will take the bottle of whiskey. Unused flip lighter. Some ammo. So yeah, we've got to go now. All the way down here to the Fringe Cove docks to obtain the nuclear launch key. So yeah, we'll deal with that in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.